In this video, we're going to talk about USB-C versus HDMI. So if you're going to buy a monitor, you don't know what is the difference between one and the other. Well, we're going to show you a little bit uh, uh, this monitor that was sent to me. Uh, Le no, Lepo, Lepau, I guess, is C1 Gamut, but basically all the monitors that you're going to see, they're going to have the, the same uh, technology, uh, technology, you know, if it's HDMI, if it's uh, USB-C. So in this case, we have, it says introduc introduction, uh, they sell like a stand here, you can put the monitor like that if you want to, or on the side. Uh, or you can use the, the case, so warranty and you, they have, uh, if you register, you're going to get like three years and six months and we're going to start seeing the, the monitor, so let's try to take it out of the box come on, alright, it came with a lot of things, so this is the monitor, in this case is 1080p, HDMI and USB-C and you have the audio shack the 3.5 millimeters so basically uh, you are going to have almost everything that you need in this type of monitor we have the manual we have uh, to uh, a little bit of clo uh, clothing yeah the clothing we have a, a cloth here a rag like small rag to clean it up uh, this was some the, the cables and everything else and we're going to start seeing the, the monitor so it's here you have more manuals and everything else so okay so this is the, the monitor so I'm going to show you here hopefully you can see a little bit uh, better here there we go so here we have the the, the, the ports so you have the USB-C here and you have the the little joystick here so that way you can control the menus and everything else you can uh, switch between HDMI and USB-C I'm going to show you the other side is the HDMI here you have the little holes for the speakers and here you have more holes for speakers and here you have the HDMI and the USB-C and the audio shack so if you want to connect your headset you can do it from here and other than that there is nothing else so uh, I like this monitor because it's very thin and it's portable so you can put it with your laptop in this case I have a um, MacBook Pro but if you have anything else you can use it anyway I'm going to show you for instance here with the HDMI and the USB-C so that way you can see how the monitor w works with both options so um, we're going to put it like that and we're going to connect it so that way you can see how it works so here it comes with the with these cables as you can see here we have USB-C we have the HDMI so we're going to connect it with this with this uh, the the main advantage is that when you have USB-C you have data and you have the power everything in one connector so that way you don't have to buy something else or connect something else and I'm going to show you later the, the amount of cables that you or things that you're going to need in order to power this up so here we're going to use the, the USB-C we're going to unplug this USB the adapter the dongle here we have the USB-C as you can see here and we're going to have an image right away so as you can see we have image right now I'm going to put it like that so that way you can see better and that's it so it's ready to be used I'm going to move a, a window here so you can see done it works just fine so, so just one cable that is all you need but if you want to use a HDMI this is the problem you're going to have you you have to use multiple things so here we're going to put this cable on the side and then if you want to if you have an old laptop or old computer you're going to need a power brick so in this case I'm going to connect this and the other end is the USB-C so that way you can use this if you have a cell phone you want to charge it or you want to power this up you can do that as well 
I don't think so you can charge the my laptops oh yes it seems like it was working okay so it seems like it's powerful enough for my laptop as well but as you can see in this case I just connected and we have power so now it's going to get into standby because there is no signal no nothing so in order to make it work so let's uh, I'm going to remove this I'm going to take that out of the way I'm going to bring this one so as you can see we have the regular HDMI maybe for your computer DVD player anything like that and the other one is going to be for the little monitor for this monitor so usually they use this because you know it takes less space inside of the components so we're going to connect it here and it will work so now you have two cables in order to power this uh, to, to make it work so as you can see I'm going to connect it here to the HDMI adapter and then I have to use this for my laptop and it will work there you go we have image here once again we are using the HDMI as you can see uh, basically that is the the main difference between one and the other so if you want to buy a monitor make sure that and that you you know this type of differences at least with this is uh, the you're going to have a lot of things i mean it doesn't make any sense if you have a laptop in this case like a macbook pro you know that you're going to have the adapter the power brick more cables is better if you can solve everything with with one so hopefully this video was helpful, uh, helpful and if you have any question please let me know in the section below if you want to buy this monitor it works right i like it very slim um it seems like a very good uh, belt i mean it seems like very good quality as well so hopefully see you in the next class bye